So today I'm back here to share with you another video on how to manage paper clutter. Hello everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I love helping moms by sharing videos on faith, family, home, and food. So if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and click that little bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. So today I'm back here to share with you another video on how to manage paper clutter and we're dealing with financial papers. So today I'll be sharing with you my financial binder and in my financial binder I keep everything in there, bills um, with the new year, we're in a new year and we're about to get ready to file taxes, any documents that come in to file taxes, any home maintenance thing, thing we have to pay for during the year goes in this binder and it just helps us see what was spent or however you want to um, deal with your finances. So one of the things that I did a little differently last year that I had to start back doing, I wasn't keeping our paper bills. Um, I stopped, I would pay the bill and then I would destroy the bill. However, our water company has really been having some issues with overcharging. So I have had to go back to keeping all documents um, as far as bills for the year to keep up with it and make sure that we're not being overcharged. So I decided to go back to that system. We're adding all the bills in here this year because I stopped, you know, thinking everything was good once you pay a bill, but you can't, you know, depend on um, a lot of the things when it comes to tech. First, when a bill comes inside the house, I log it in my planner, the date that is due and how much is due. I put that bill in the back of my planner and once that bill is paid, I mark it off on my bill sheet here that just has all the bills for the year. I mark it off that it's paid and then it's filed in my binder. Now the way I have this binder set up, I have it set up based on month. So I have January all the way to December. So all the bills that were paid in January, they go in the January tab, um, February, February tab, and so on and so on. Now I do have categories for um, lawn care. I keep all those receipts in one section. They're not a lot because you know, um, what, how many months we have for summer. So I just keep them there just to see how much we spent for lawn care um, for the year. So that's like landscaping any treatments done on the lawn. Um, we've had some pest issues as far as raccoons um, getting on our roof and messing up our roof, roof. So last year we had to have twice pest control come out and try to capture the things if they had come in but they didn't come in and then fix the damage that was done from the raccoon. So I have all those in here and like I say, when things are coming in for um, taxes, all that is filed in here. So when we get ready to do our taxes, all the documents are in here and at our fingertips. So just in the front, I just have a pocket with I, where I keep like pen, highlighter, just so I'll have it when I um, come to this binder. I have account info sheets, so all the different bills we have. I have the account number. If I have any login information, I have that there. And then, like I say, it goes from January tabs from January through December. Pocket folders for anything that I want to keep together. Lawn care, the pest control, and any tax documents I have in a pocket folder like this. So that is one way that I manage paper clutter, any bills and financial information. Um, I have a, a reselling business that I keep separately just so I can keep up with that. But when I need to transport anything to do taxes, um, I put it in here until it's time to do taxes. The only thing that you'll need, um, I use a hole puncher to punch the bill holes in the bills so that I can put them in here. And if you saw my home management binder video, um, this is the same type of binder. It's the Staples Better binder. This one is in black. The um, other one was like a teal blue. You can also get 
all the same colors if you like everything cohesive i love color so if you want everything cohesive you can get all white all black all red all green and then just make sure you tag them you know so you will know which one it is because if you have them on a bookshelf you wouldn't know if you don't have a name on it but again my process with the finances a bill comes in i log it in my planner the date that it's due and i keep it in my planner until it's paid once it's paid i check it off on my bill sheet and then punch holes in it and then it goes in my financial binder keep everything in its place now if you don't have any trouble with your water company overcharging you you can toss your bills you don't have to keep up with them but that is the way i keep up with it um one of my friends nicole from toc town she suggested well she said that um she keeps uh like a contents page in the front of her i don't know if it's her binder or whatever she used so that was an awesome idea so that is one of the things that i will be implementing in all of the binders i am going to go back in and put a content sheet in the front of the binder with everything that's in there